We are here on Mars Hill overlooking downtown Flagstaff. It's the cold, clear mountain skies above Flagstaff that drew astronomers here more than a century ago. Very little moisture in the air, no big city lights. Things that might blur what you see through a telescope. Telescopes are light buckets. What astronomers do is collect light and interpret it. Percival Lowell picked this site in 1894. Work here at Lowell Observatory 100 years ago led to the first evidence that the universe is expanding. A ton worth of weight on the telescope itself, a ton counterweight, and a couple more tons on the pier that holds it. Uh, it is a 24-inch lens, so you have a 24-inch lens at the very top of it. Uh, at the bottom, you see where the eyepiece is, but also a bunch of knobs that do different things uh, to adjust the telescopes. We got the ladder assembly that Percival Lowell built so that he could be seated in a chair from his kitchen table while he was doing his observations. What makes it turn are 24 1954 Ford truck tires. Lowell looked first to Mars and Venus, but had a hunch there was something more out there. A new planet, farther out beyond Neptune. Percival Lowell's hunch was right, and the 1930 discovery of Pluto really put this place on the map. They found it only after relentlessly snapping shots of the night sky, looking for something that moved. Keep in mind, much of the important work here got done before computers. Back then, high tech meant brass and copper, and tools like this, Thatcher's calculating instrument, the mother of all slide rules. The Rotunda Museum has treasures from that era. The search for answers continues at Lowell, but with ever better tools. The hunt for planets elsewhere in the universe and the characterization of what planets outside our solar system might look like. Hunting done here, in other telescopes south of Flagstaff on Anderson Mesa. And this year, the Discovery Channel telescope will dwarf them all. These are time-lapse pictures of the DCT, as it's called, being built. Inside, a big new mirror and powerful new sensors to gather faint light from far away. The new Discovery Channel telescope, which we have almost completed, has a primary mirror about 168 inches in diameter. It has a tremendously greater collecting area, allowing astronomers to observe much fainter objects than you can do with smaller telescopes. Well, it really is a great place to visit both day and nighttime. Even without peering through a telescope, you will be wowed by sights like these, the San Francisco Peaks. The best thing with a nighttime visit, especially with kids, is to arrive um, a little bit before dark, even if it's snowing or raining up here. You can still see the stars with that planetarium. As it gets dark, we, we have telescopes we start setting up. If skies are clear, and they usually are, you can get a big, bold eyeful. The moon, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter. If you go, keep your eyes peeled for some scary stuff that might be out there too. These chunks of rock that come flying by and occasionally uncomfortably close to the Earth. He's not kidding. Arizona's been hit by a meteor before, and a big one. We'll take you to where it landed in just a moment. 